Hi everybody, welcome to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. Today, we are starting a stupid thing, a dumb, big dumb dummy thing that I'm starting, uh, because it's time for me to do it, and that is a Beacon Grand Slam. Bastard's Beacon Grand Slam. Um, I didn't mean to say the first part to that name, because now it's going to demonetize this video. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, this is the team that we're running. So we have our Breacher Leper. I was considering re-rolling him, but then I thought, nah, let's keep him because I'm not doing this without doing it this way. Uh, we've got a Virtuoso Jester with Slippery and Light Sensitive, which we're going to want to try to get rid of. We have a Banneret Crusader with Lurker and Hydrophobic. Um, and then we also have a Ritualist Occultist with Bloodthirsty, which is really exciting. So... Um, we're gonna hope this works. We'll see how it goes. We're on act one right now, and uh, we'll get on into it. This is dangerously close to my team too. Just swap out Jester for Man Arms. Nice. Yeah, Your Man Arms would have been a good choice for this as well, but I'm glad that this is quite different than the team I took for my Stygian Grand Slam. I think, I mean, Jester is the only one who is the same between the two teams, just because Jester is cracked, you know? Exhausted. Ahead. Only trial and tribulation. Mm. You see, even your valley is right. not immune to yeah. the spreading stain. Yeah. We're swapping them because Jester's going to end up going first. And Crusader's fairly useless. We may want to swap on like Smite or Reap just so he has a front rank a damaging ability if he gets kind of stuck up here. Um, we probably don't really need Tenacity. I mean, Tenacity's nice, but I think we probably get more value out of something else, so... Um... Started with Dodge. Where did that Dodge come from? Is that a... Oh, is that a memory? Yeah! Dude, dude's absolutely ready to... Just kill some people. Lots of people. Zealous is a good, good call here. Unless it does that. Giga Chad doing Giga Chad things, absolutely. In crisis, we can rely. Well, we've managed to do the thing that I say that you shouldn't do, which is distribute the damage amongst everybody on the team, but we should be able to get some pretty decent kills here. Oh god, everybody's got blight. Yeah, this is why we should probably swap off tenacity. We need to be doing damage, not sitting here waiting for the damage to happen, right? But hey, I'll take a 21 damage non-crit hit against a non-vulnerable target. Yeah, that works. Uh, absolutely fine with that. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply away. Yeah, this leper is thankfully very cracked. Some people might say that it's cheating. I don't care. We're starting with it. I earned this leper. Hey, Biggles, how's it going? Welcome on in. Jester is dead dino. I let's see if we can rename him. Alive Lower dinosaur. Your Soften your gaze. Should be able to, right? Yeah. It gotcha. Is safe here. Somebody just call me? One sec. I don't know what that was. Uh dead dino. Alright. Welcome on in, by the way. Solemnity and first slot is interesting. Yeah, it's just the just the way that the ability slots kind of ran there. There we go. Hey, Pate, there it is. How's it going? That was Red Hook warning you. Yeah, it's Red Hook warning me. They're coming for me, boys. The wealth no longer has meaning. All right. Uh, good. Did. Good. Oh, good. Morning stuff is done. You're not saying good morning stuff is done. You're saying good. I'm good. Is your boy open? No, he's been named to Snoop Dogg. Don't forget about the torch. Thank you. Let's grab it while we're here, huh? Uh, which one is it? Doom Star. There it is. The beacon. The beacon has been lit. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. That mother trucker. I know. I know. All right. What do we want here? We gotta be really cognizant about like what's gonna be best for our team. Um, we're 
We're not dancing enough for me to validate taking Crocodilian. We may want to take the Orphan Wolf Cub and grab a Luxury Gear item. Do we have a Luxury Gear item? We do not. Okay. The Tinker's Gear. So we could produce a lot of trap items if we take the Owl. Um, increased stacking. Al I mean, Almanac is it's just so expensive. It's not useful. Um, the stream title for I took. Why do you hate yourself? I don't know, Biggles. I don't know. Beat this act with, with bacon and everybody lived. Excellent. Yeah, I get it. The boss is really the, the hard cutoff, right? Everything else is, is fairly doable. It's going to be the boss that really throws us for a loop. Um, We could also take the mucilaginous slime to increase the leper's resistance to blind. Like, we can increase it by 5% right now. If we take steel plating and mucilaginous slime. This also increases the amount of money that we get, which allows us to buy more things. I'm kind of tempted to take this because resisting the blind is going to be very potent for us. Um, we need to kill things. You know, the difference between 73 and 78% isn't much, but if we grab another bit of road gear, it'll be, you know, in the 80s and we're feeling pretty good. Um, I'm going to grab it. Wouldn't normally recommend doing this, A but sound investment. In we'll see if it works out for us. Untraveled. Road gear isn't a bad thing to invest in. It's just kind of a weird thing the to invest in. Rife with peril. A little protection is always welcome. We'll also get another 5% from this, so he's going to be feeling pretty good. Um, I would say here, here, and here. We do get a songbook of rousing attunes, which we're going to take now. Um, as much as it seems crazy, but outspeeding the enemies, or at least it. pacing their speed, is going to be really big for us. Um, let's go ahead and get Inspiring Tune upgraded. Thanks for the Hydrate. Appreciate it. I'm also going to get Fate to Black for the combo generation. Let's get... Um, maybe get Battle Heal upgraded. It's just because it's a more reliable heal. I'm also going to swap off Tenacity while we're in the inn here. Um, and then let's go for some damaging abilities. Let's get Abyssal Artillery and Chop upgraded. Right. Um, and then we're going to swap off Tenacity for... Uh, we'll just go Smite. Just as, a, just as a way for him to deal damage up front if we need him to. Ooh, we do get Pilfered torment. Wealth, potentially, which Every could be very turn. good for us. Fight a six or less road battles to get Pilfered Wealth. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. That's good. We should probably Tenches swap on... Um, the front take off Hue and, and swap on Break. Um pretty decent ability for us to just ignore a lot of the block that we're going to be dealing with here. And let's check the provisioner, grab anything else that we want. I'm going to grab these. This is a weird one, but I'm going to grab both of these and we're going to use one of these in each region. Plus two speed on everybody is going to be really big for us and just keeping people going fast enough to kill before the enemies get to go, which is going to be huge. Um... And then let's grab two stimulants, call it a day. Hopefully we don't end up having an immediate hospital that we could get rid of things with, but let's go. Finally got the trinket. What trinket? The other day, and it's frustrating. You can't, oh, oh, that trinket. You can't steal blocker dodge unless they have multiples. Uh, yes, yes, you're right because of the fact that it needs to steal the one that it doesn't... It destroys the token before it steals, yeah. Yeah, it's something to keep in mind. But a lot of enemies do have multiples, so... War. It's really War. more... I would say it's Only more focused on taking, like, strength and crit than it is block and dodge. All right. We want to go for an early... Early creature den could be very rewarding and also very dangerous, but I say we go for it and see what happens, so... familiar kingdom. Remember, we have a much higher chance of uh, mini bosses spawning, so um, is something that we want to keep in mind. Like as soon as we get, if we get, we're probably not getting a trophy on this run, but as soon as we get a trophy, it's going to be uh, collecting time. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, him not getting the initial move is actually a bit of a pain point for us, but this is fine. 
So as you can see, all enemies are ordained already um, because uh, this game hates us. And that's just how this works. So can't see anything going wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Nope. Casual. A promising development. Excellent. We did go fast enough to be able to kill here, which is great for us. One less obstacle in our path. In our path. Um, we can jump forward here. Then we can holy lance. Please the crit. Writ large. And then leper can finish him. Excellent. Leper is doing consistent mid twenty damage right now. Which pretty much means we can kill most enemies in one hit. Outside, of course, size two enemies, um, but even still, we'll be taking more than half their health in one go. All right, do we have anything we picked up? Nope, we don't. Everybody wants to take the fight, so we'll just go ahead and throw it like on Jester or something. We're gonna be starting with armor in here, so that's good. This is a pretty good first fight for us to take. As far as fights go, this could be much worse. Um, yeah. That's fine. Good crit. Very nice. Leper, Leper only has 49 health. That's not the most health in the world for, like, a, a tank, but he'll be all right. He'll deal. What's his debuff resist up to? 83% right now, which is pretty damn good. Go ahead and try to blind here. Of course, rabies would not be the worst thing on him because he can ignore a large amount of the blind that it tries to proc. The work continues. My game is getting a little, um, a little stuttery. It's weird. We do end up in this situation sometimes. Not much I can do about that. Helps that things get dicey. It could, it could definitely be a good option for us, yeah. Um, just doing this because it stops us from getting Crusader out of a position here. Miscalculation, perhaps. There we go, generating some unchecked power at least. Um, I don't want to kill here. Now I want to kill. This gives us a few extra rounds or a few extra turns before the enemy goes. go ahead and remove the corpse while getting a kill here. All right. That stops them from being able to get off their huge hits. That right, Crusader's doing decent damage with that. Nothing crazy, though, right? There we go. That's my boy. Good job, Snoop Dogg. Out of context, that would probably sound very weird. Wait, right, what? Why is he yelling, good job, Snoop Dogg? Arcade mini golf for a custom slider? Ooh, that sounds super fun. I would love to go do that. 
Why are you so masochistic? Uh, because I played Darkest Dungeon. I, I feel like that, that should answer that question for you. Collaboration confers advantage. Uh, get, play the game anniversary, get the achievement. My assumption would be on the anniversary of it releasing fully on Steam. Um, but I don't know for sure. We're not low enough for Solemnity. We're trying, Speedy. We're trying. Okay. So we get two mastery points out of this. Not a bad find. We do want to make sure that we're getting as much mastery as we possibly can get. Because uh, the, the locks are no joke. Right? The locks are very tough. We want to be giving ourselves the best opportunity possible. That was a good set of healing items that we just found right there. Not Well, these don't really matter that much, but this definitely helps. Alright, we do have the lair here, which, like, we're not gonna fight the general. This is a den of absolute Our day in general is gonna be way resonance. too tough for this team. Um, we're too- yourself. we're too baby right now for us to take him, but we might take the first two fights. Um, 24-hour Grand Slam Bastard Beacon Even when? Uh, team. never. That's when. A general and his loyal lumbering right. guard. He's got increased move resist, but he does have lower debuff resist. Um, no, this is gonna be more valuable for us. Ah, damn. Assuming that he didn't resist it, which he did, but. Act to the Grand Slams I mentioned yesterday and the chain stuns nearly did me in. Yeah. Yep, I can imagine. It's not, it's not good. Uh, we'll try to go for the break here. There we go. Good value. Strong enough to carry these bosses. Mine died to world, yeah. But I mean, Bounty Hunter is, is strong, but I mean, Bosses being ordained is a is a huge thing. Is this one of the YouTube ideas? No, this is just uh, this is a, an actual like attempt at making a decent team in order to uh, do a grand slam beacon run. I've managed to get combo on every enemy, which is definitely something. On to the next. Yeah, even YouTube isn't this masochistic. This is him telling YouTube this is how you build a team. I mean, I did. I still need to make a video on team building. I think that'd be a pretty good video for people to see. Would be like, hey, this is and this is how I think you can, can put together a good team. Masochism is strong here. God damn, I know, right? I know. Man, I'm so used to my ritualist uh, that these low rolls are really not fun, to say the least. Uh, do we have Purge? No, I think we took Purge off, didn't we? All right. Probably am not going to take the next fight here. I'll uh, just go ahead and get rid of that. Yeah, debuff resist. There we go. That's a decent heal. Yeah, kill that corpse. Nah, you can take it, right. It doesn't give us anything but relics and baubles, so I'm really don't think it's worth the additional risk. A lesson taught Trick your character. Interesting a hearing what you come learned. up with. That might be a good I'd probably have to do that like on a case by case though. Recalculating one's odds is never a wasted endeavor. Like I feel like the only characters that really fall into that are gonna be like flag, um, and duelist. And I kinda wanna avoid hero specific things right now because I think uh, I don't think I'm pretty sure that uh, Red Hook is going to be working on balance for all the heroes right man we could take we could take two creature dens two more creature dens and see what we can get I think we can handle another creature den I think we're in we're in good spirits for that uh, this could very well be an antiquarium so with bones and 
identifiable remains. Okay, it's not antiquarians. That's good. Breacher is definitely carrying us hard right now. Um, the ability for us to just absorb all that damage into a leper is a calculated huge. generosity. But a welcome one nonetheless. Yeah, we want the we want the mastery, right? We need the mastery. We need especially on uh denial where we don't have as all as much time to get the mastery. You do get the additional three, right? But that that three doesn't go as far as I think people would imagine it it does. Um we give him a strength token. See if we get lucky. Wow, that was the lowest roll I think we've seen today for him. Right. I know I'm using a lot of my healing items here, but that's we kind of have to. We want to. This is, you know, we need to be in very good condition for this. Demons are scaring the heck out of me. Yep, they're all ordained. Every single one of them. Five mastery per region. That's a really solid number to get. If you can get five mastery per region, you're going to be in really good condition. Uh, by the time you get to the end, for sure. All right, Crusader, finish it up. There we go. One less obstacle in our path. All right, pretty good there. The speed trinket, speed and lowered health. Speed is is potent right let's just let's just be real here right um speed can make a big difference right now it's only two though but it's not not that bad of an idea to have our leper going a little quicker everybody else is actually fairly quick right now Cru crusader could probably do of it as well um honestly let's throw it on crusader i think that might be the better option that gets him rolling fast enough that he's actually gonna be able to go before a lot of enemies my mastery, sometimes the game hit you get one mastery. There is a level of unpredictability when it comes to it, for sure. If you have no low to no scouting, it definitely, definitely hurts. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything we want to swap on for this. Um, like, is break? Break's probably not... I mean, break works if, if we get a lot of worms, right? Otherwise, it's not great. Eh, this will be fine. Two, two people want to leave. Relationships are also something we do need to keep in mind. That's going to lower both of these to negative. We have three mastery right now. We'll get four. I don't think it's worth it. Do it. Fine. If we die, I'm blaming uh, Cactus and Zen. Your fault. We're gonna Encore here for uh, hopefully some dodge penetration. Yeah, the dodge is just what's going to kill us with this team more than anything. Uh, keeping the taunt up. The additional health that these enemies get is, uh, makes a big difference, right? You really start to feel it. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough, buddy.
Yeah, <laughs> interesting way to make dodge work. Put it on enemies. Works every time, all the time. Heal him up. No, oh, just go ahead and do this. The work continues. Leper's just like, I got this, guys. Don't worry. Nice. Yeah, it's a lot of dodge. This is why dogs are very annoying. At least spiders don't regenerate dodge. But thankfully, the damage output that these guys have is, like, is pretty, pretty low. What's not low is my occultist's chance of fucking not healing me right now. God damn. I'm, I'm way too used to Ritualist. I'm not gonna lie. Like, Ritualist heals are so... So cracked a small foundation in comparison to this. Another impediment cleared with him. Lord, help me. Crusader Banneret. Is it not? Ritualist. Virtuoso. Bulwark. Oh, Bull. I don't know why I put Bulwark. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, it's not Ritualist either, is he? My bad. You're right. No, he is. He is, ri he is Ritualist. I'm dumb. Ha! <laughs> A miscalculation, perhaps. I've been thinking about playing Warlock because he's bloodthirsty. I forgot. We had a whole discussion about this. You sure about that? You sure about that? That's why? You sure it wasn't? Because after the thing that happened to me, no one could look at me without our first dying stun. laughing? You sure about that? You sure Second about that? Second stun. Great. Now that's fucked up. Sweat soaked brows. Unsteady stances. Oh, man. Exhaustion takes hold. Blind. Blind. Can blind operate in this game? Bring me back DD1 Ballad Bands and Crimson Lord, yeah. Uh, spiders are so much fun. Hey, look at that. That's my boy. Really hoping that blind would stick. Ow. Can stun about set up? I don't, I don't mind it. I think, I mean, most enemies need the help. <laughs> it's not the worst thing that could happen. Mistimed. 18 Blight on Lapper, only five. He's fine. Look at that. Okay, so we do have Ritualist heals. I'm just an idiot. That's what I am. Manner of diversion and dallies oh, away those for the who cross the threshold with coin I appreciate in that. hand. Very, very kind to you. Prime sub, three months. Hell yeah. All right, so now... We have one, two, three, four. We'll be getting five mastery points in this region minimum. Because we'll get a mastery point from the cultist fight at the end. Pretty sure you get a mastery fight guaranteed from there. That may just be misremembering. I don't know. Mistimed. Misdirected. Story of my life. Did we pick up something there? No. Okay. I'm really glad we picked up these Rousing Tune songbooks, though. These are going to be helpful. Using one before every region is going to make a big difference. And be humbled by it. 
Uh, and I hate when they're like, oh, we both disagree, but we're not going to agree with one another, though. Like, no, oh, fuck that. This is pretty good, though. 12 relics. Mm. Nah. Let's not take the reduction to our relics. Abandoned we're going to need to spend relics on... Um, it is ours now. Fixing our fucking relationships at this point, because everybody's unfriendly, so... Okay, fight. Um, okay. We're in good condition. We should be okay here. No drummers, which we've been we've been kind of blessed with that, honestly. Go ahead and echoing or echoing march here. Not on for echoing march. Okay, this should be just fine to start doing this. Yep. Yeah, you can do serrate a bolt, but it's really not that strong from up here, so. These guys are in a shambling thrust loop right now, which is excellent. Let us hope to All right. Um, get the blind up here. Team looks kind of good. So far, it's doing well. We'll have to see how well it continues to do, but... It's got, it covers most of our bases, for sure. Yeah, when they get stuck in this, like, loop like this, it's, it's a really good feeling, for sure. Um, let's do this. Hey, you how's it going? Welcome on in. Phoenix, welcome on in. Good to have you. How are all doing today, everybody? A breakthrough. Get the kill here. Yes, this is Bastard's Beacon. We're going, we're starting a Bastard's Beacon Grand Slam attempt. Ah, no, they broke the loop. Yeah, we have a Breacher Leper, so he seemed like a pretty good fit to take. We had a heal here? No, we're not low enough. All right. The work continues. The one pleasant in the extreme. Money, 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 this money. We love noble. money. More not money, necessary. please. All right. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. We haven't even had to stress heal once so far. Bloodthirsty on Leper once again. But after a while, I started thinking I should try a new type of Leper, like Breacher, maybe Deadly. Both are very good options. There's a lot of good options for him. We don't need that. We'll take that. The loathing festers. Um, I think I want to take the cash here. I think we're fine on mastery. We're going to end up with uh, four or five mastery points, right? The cash is going to give us trinkets, and right now we have one trinket. So, Brinsinger, how's it going? Welcome on in. As much as I'd love to take another creature den and do three creature dens, and it would be funny and all that stuff, um, I think this is a better option for us. Abhors waste. Left head in the sand leper. Time. Yeah, that one I seem to find a lot. Hey, a savior. That's good. And stone mount. Not bad. Um, this works really well if we decide to want to. If we want to use like withstand. Your collection um, can wait. Press. On nobody route. else is generating any block tokens, but it's it's a good item for us to get. I think a savior is the real winner here, though. Choose the better option, I know, right? How dare I be trying to be meta right now?
yeah, slime with relic is an absolute money. Like we print, we're printing relics at this point. Once we get that equipped. All right. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Actually, let me um. Wish it was an easier way to do this. I'm putting this. I'm gonna put this on my fastest hero. So that way we can throw um, that up front and get the. Shield ten oh, yeah, that's true. Tenacity is a uh, is an option for that. It would only work on the person who has the item equipped, right? But it's definitely Empowered. an option. Emboldened. Um, I'm actually going to do this here. I kind of want the Crusader to get hit with a bleed at some point. Let's go ahead and just do this. It's a bit of a waste because it doesn't really apply to Leper, but just get the double big hits here. Again, we're using combat items because we we need to be in good shape. Like we need to keep ourselves alive. Prince Gold, not clickbait. Yeah. I am the economy. Uh, that was probably the worst shuffle we could have asked for. I mean, it didn't do anything bad. It just did absolutely nothing for us. Might as well at least hit through those blocks. There it goes, our stress seal. Early results Days. are encouraging. Um uh, Wow. We got we got Jip both times. Economists hate slime. Click to find out why. I, I imagine that will bleed will appear. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Oh, that's fine. We did okay there. We got six bleed on Lemur, but, like, whatever. He'll be he'll be fine, chat. He'll be fine. He's a big boy. Look at him. Look at that big boy hitting big boy damage. Absolutely fine. Um... Hmm. Okay. Actually, that's fine. Starting to wonder whether the extra turn on everybody's hit scales to speed, because I saw something like three turns in one round on Crusader having minus five speed. Extra turn for every... The trinket, I mean. Which trinket? I'm confused. One less obstacle in our path. Using, I don't even know what word I said. I apologize if I said something. I don't even know what word that's trying to be. Sorry. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the right. trail to your redemption. The loathing whispers. Let me Google the name real quick. Which tr the trinket for extra actions would be what? Temptation or Oversprung Pocket Watch? Extra turn for every time hit scales to speed. There's one that. Oh, Reverberating Readout? That one gives you an extra action on hit sometimes. I just don't know what word I said, so I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what the the G something PT word is. I don't even know what I said, so I apologize. But once again, um, all right, we got pilfered wealth. Let's see here. Thin blooded and eh, needler. Needler's not great for us. We definitely still need to try to lock in Bloodthirst when we get the chance. Well, I appreciate, um, if, I, if I did say something, I didn't, I apologize. I just, I, I actually don't know what word I said. I'll have to go back and take a look at it. Readout doesn't debuff speed, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't debuff speed, but it, you need lowered speed to get the proc off of it. Man, um, wow. Okay, let's take a look what we got here before we get too carried away. So we have a few trinkets here. 
Um, every road a winding torment. Every turn. I don't think I said that word, but I, okay. All right, I, I'll keep it in mind. All right. Um. Oh, I did. I've always okay. I've okay. I did. I know what you're. I know what I said now. Yeah. Okay. I apologize. Yeah. I can. I can get that uh, out of my vocabulary. It's a good point. Uh. All right. Let's see here. So we have we have some really good options for trinkets. We have a lot of extra damage. We also have reason I you why almanacs don't count as scouting gear. I don't have a reasonable explanation for you. Um, I'm, I do know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything else. Okay, but yeah, Almanacs should be scouting here, right? I, they also shouldn't be 40 relics, honestly. So I'm getting three turns on Crusader in a round with minus five speed. And that even though it says 20% to get a chance of a proc, the lower your speed is. I don't think so, no. You got three turns on a Crusader in a round with five he must have had a trinket that gave him an extra turn. He must have had two things that procs an extra turn on him. I don't know what else it could be. I, I, yeah, I, I think it might have uh, an origination somewhere else, Jonathan. I think that's where it's coming from. Um, Almanax should be for the owl, as owl reads books and are wise. I don't think. Oh my God, guys! I don't have anything else to drink. You can chill on the hydrates. <laughs> I'm out. You've you've finished my coffee for me. All right. Um, we're gonna grab the pig. We need relationships up. To ease the rigors of the road. Whoop whoop whoop! I I need to stop hitting escape when I'm trying to navigate this freaking menu. All right, let's get everybody feeling a little better there. Out of stock. It's in stock now, yeah. It, it goes out of stock when it gets used a lot. Um, we have plenty of food, which is good. How's the grand sum go? I mean, we're, we're on Act 1, so it's, it's going. Additional mastery points for avoiding the watchtower. Get... Great cities burn. Um, enemies have a lot of speed here base, so thankfully we do have the songbook here which we can use. Hopefully nobody procs Melophobic. Nope, tuck it out is fine. <clears throat> Bounty Hunter Gaming, we're probably not going to take Bounty Hunter. I don't really have any need for him right now. Um, and I think our team functions better as is than would be with, with him. Fun fact 69. Everybody picks this fun fact. The fun I have this one memorized, and it's uh, the letter E is the most commonly used letter in the English language. That is your fun fact of the day. Hey, Dartress, how's it going? Welcome on in. All right. Um, 69. We have plenty of food. Let's check relationships again. Let's see if we have any that we can kind of... Oh, man. What is... What are they... Uh, it's All of his relationships are going to be really nasty, aren't they? Because he's got Needler. Yeah, 43% and 15%. We're likely to get a negative relationship. Let's just be real with that. But we can probably get him at least out of the... Really? Isn't it better to play with your main team members? Generally, he's used for being able to, like, uh, take out a boss very effectively. Because he has very, very powerful abilities. That's why you're a Snoop Dogg. Um... It can also you can also use it if your team is struggling with relationships. You can take out the person who's who's got the issue. Like if one person melted down and they lost relationships of everybody for a region, and you don't have the money to fix it, you can throw in a bounty hunter, and then you don't have to worry about negative relationships for the next region. It really just depends on what you need. He fills a role. It's just not you. You just don't need him all that time. Would bounty hunter screw a grand slam? No. It would not. Uh, can I post a link to Tom Skr doing a comedy bit on 6 9 video? Uh, I mean, sure, if you want to. Feel free. I don't know if the bot will snag your link, though. Alright, um... So, yeah, we, Snoop Dogg here is... You'd think Snoop Dogg would be chill with everybody, right? But he's he's a little upset. 
We could we could spend a lot of money to boost the relationships, but I don't think it's really necessary. If we get a negative relationship, we get one. Um, my thing right now is going to be what can we do to make our team better? We have two options here. We can either take 20% damage or we can increase our debuff resist on Leper. I think while the damage is nice, this is going to boost us to him almost always ignoring debuffs, which is going to be huge. I'm going to take that. That's going to be a big one for us. So we're going to throw that here. He now has... He will not resist his initial blind still, but he will resist every blind after that. We can now swap this to Reap if we wanted to, so he can steal some tokens when he's up front. Um, we don't really... I mean, he's going to take uh, relics. That's whatever. I don't really care. I actually don't think I want to take this and put it on anybody right now. Uh, the minus speed is going to be really brutal for us. If it is to um, where you must we do have our mastery points, so let's spend them. Give Snoop Dogg weed to make him chill. Valid, actually. Actually valid. Um, so let's get our heal upgraded. It's going to be good for us. We definitely don't... I don't think we really need break anymore. I'm going to upgrade Solemnity for, again, for healing. Holy Lance is a good option for us. As the light hey, gains Bibbles, purchase, thank you for the gifted sub. That's very kind of you. And purpose is made clear. Um, we can upgrade Reap to get the heal value. Uh, yeah, it may also actually hurt us in the long run, but that's fine. Hey, Makata. Yes, we're starting a Grand Slam attempt on Beacon. We'll see how well that goes. Uh, move resist. This is another decent one, maybe. Um... Like, yeah, 53% move resist is fine. As long as he's uh, not moved by an enemy, he's okay. We, we did feed everybody, right? Okay. Um, is there anything else that we want to grab while we're here? We should probably grab, like, smoke. We've got cheap items, right? So let's grab them while we can, you know? Food. I'm actually totally okay grabbing food a it's cheap right now and b this guarantees that we get that additional debuff resist later which is going to be good for us uh a stun resist potion is going to be very useful on the road to and so is a speed potion um i'm going to keep the rest of the money in case we run into a hospital so we can actually get rid of a negative quirk uh negative relationship no we got lucky okay tried and tested good roll uh, no, neither are abilities or reasons. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'd rather that than negative relationships, that's for sure. Come on and grand and welcome to the... <laughs> yeah, come grand and welcome. Alright, a couple fights. We have to avoid the watchtower for the mastery points, which we definitely want. We do have a cultist node if we wanted to take it. Um, is this a shambler up here? No, it is not. Force you to pick the buff skill. Imagine, yeah. No burning stars. No, we're not running burning stars. I don't have a way to generate um, unchecked power outside of Binding Shadows right now. I'd rather just use it. If we do generate unchecked power, I'd rather just use it for... Consider all variables, um, but do it quickly. I'd rather just use it for the heals, honestly. Is it smart to lock in good quirks, or is it only good for Grand Slam? Never lost a good quirk before. Generally, Jarl, it depends on how good of a quirk it is. Um, the quirks do persist between runs, so if you find a really good one, like Jinx or Bloodthirsty or whatever, it, it definitely can pay off if you just want to keep using that hero in the future. Like, you, you know? But otherwise, like, uh, if you, if you roll the quirk at the beginning of a run, it's fairly likely that you will end up rolling that quirk off by the end of the run. So it can definitely be worth it. Um, cons like you could run into like, um, you know, the Vestal's secret in, which gives you two quirks. They could give you two positive quirks. And then all of a sudden you're max three. And then it, it's generally pretty common, but sometimes you get lucky and you don't, you know. So it just depends on how, how valuable you think that quirk is. Like Bloodthirsty for us is very valuable, especially on Grand Slam. So we're definitely gonna try to get, get it locked in. Skills user your relationships, I don't see it. It does. At least that's what the devs have told us. Um, when they came out with the update that gave us uh, the relationship update, they gave us this method. Originally, it didn't. Originally, it was completely random. Um, and people disliked that for obvious reasons. So they changed it. So um, I don't think positive quirks uh, 
positive relationships are likely to choose relationship ones that you use, but I do believe negative ones are. I think that's how it operates, um, if I remember correctly. And the reason for that is that since negative ones are forced, you might as well be forced to use one that helps your... Um, we're just going to take the relationship rock that is on your kit, but... It definitely used to be random, and then they changed it. As far as not seeing it, though, I, I don't know what the percentages are. I don't know how likely it is. I, it's definitely not guaranteed, though. Um, so. Negative relationships force the skill, right? Yes, but they are more likely to pick a skill that you've been using because negative relationships then... You're... They... People were complaining that they were being forced into using skills that they didn't want to use, and they'd rather keep a skill that they were using and deal with the negative relationship because it, like, ruined their whole build. So they changed it so that way negative relationships... I don't know if positives have the same thing, but I know negative relationships are more likely to pick a skill that you've clicked more often. Um, originally, it was completely random. Um, but no, they, they changed it to be more selective for abilities that you do use. As far as positives go, um, people just never really cared that much, but they, they, there was a huge, like, wave of complaints that came out when the relationship the relationship update came out, and that system was implemented. People were, were really, really off-put by it, so... Thankfully, our speed is working pretty well here. <laughs> yeah, negative relationships don't affect you that bad until you get, like, two. Once you get, like, two on the same hero, it can become very, very hard to deal with. Very quickly. Excellent hit. Unfortunately, I cannot steal repost. This guy is slowly stealing all of our money. But he's gonna heal here, which is nice. Unfortunate. This that gives you the chance, the choice of the buff and which skill is attached because you have 50% or less chance trigger. No, I, I don't know what the answer is to this, some of the issues of the relationship system. I don't think it's that big of an issue, but it is annoying when it happens and it, it doesn't pick skills that you want. But I do think that being able to control it would probably give players almost too much agency, which is, which is an issue. I know a lot of people say, I get a lot of people like, well, it's a single player game, so it doesn't matter. It's like they... That's what mods are for when mods come in. The game still needs to be balanced, but I don't I don't think it's perfect. I just don't know what the answer is. Um Yeah, I, I don't have the answer to what that. Like in my head, I can't think of a solution that like doesn't give the player too much agency to the point where the system just becomes completely like un like it just doesn't have any effect cuz you can, or it's almost too strong where you can just like purposely make it really difficult and stuff. Yeah. Like, when people, if people weren't really overpowered, like, super controls and stuff, I think that's where the modding comes in, which is something that will be added, right? So once modding comes in, then you can be like, oh, I want X, Y, and Z. It's like, all right, you can have whatever you want. I don't care. All right, we're going to the hospital. I'm going to lock in Bloodthirsty and probably get rid of Light Sensitive, I would say. We'll see. We, we might also pick up um, a stagecoach Bestest. item or something. I don't know. Double loathing. We're getting a triple loathing, but we should be able to reduce at least one bit of it. Sneeze. One sec. No, we're not dinosaur. Not not uh, in Act One. I don't need to take on a lair boss right now. Um, ooh, we should probably get rid of Resolute while we're here. Um, all right, bloodthirsty. I realize we rolled we resolute. Preserve what is best in us. It's an unfortunate one for us to roll. 
Um, thin blooded doesn't affect us too much. You may feel like is annoying, but you know what? Actually, I'm gonna rid of Needler. I'm gonna spend all my money, but I'm getting rid of it. Can be overcome. Modding DD2 with modding tools will be great to do, especially since I already use Unity daily. Yeah, I've already. I mean, people have already come up with some crazy like renders and cool things and. People making full animated like YouTube videos out of the heroes and stuff. Like I have absolute faith that people will be able to take the the renders and make their own things of it. And I do know for a fact that the devs are active on modding, like developing the tools for it. And I know that as they make future changes to the game, um, they're always being cognizant of how to make things easier for modders. There's a reason that a lot of abilities like uh, all the strings of like what they do are in separate lines when they could be condensed into single lines and they've developed it that way so that way like people who mod can more easily change each part of the skill instead of having to like go in and change a whole string that has like multiple factors that it's pulling from because I know a lot of people like this is this reads weirdly and it's like that's it's actually done on purpose in a lot of cases so that way modders can more easily go in and, and make the changes they want to make um, he already starts with two strength, so... Staying sober is bad. Yeah, you get very drunk in this game very often. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see what modders can do with the game once they, uh, once they get full tools and access. It's gonna be... It's gonna be fun. Um... The world has no need for a man so evacerated. Eh, it does. You're okay. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and pull here. Imagine a SpongeBob character mod. I don't. I don't know if I have to imagine it. I can like see it in my head. God. Drinking's about all you can do. Yep, exactly. Yeah, making making character models from scratch will definitely be the, the hardest thing for sure. But people will do it. People will re. I think it'll probably start off with reskinning current characters. That's probably where we're gonna see it initially, because that's gonna be the easier thing to do is just changing the the skins that get drawn around them. Um, but people will get into it and figure it out and make all sorts of goofy goofy stuff. Would SpongeBob be Leper? Jester? I don't know. Somebody. Wow, that's annoying. new class, the cook. I saw there's a new mod that came out for DD1 that's got a lot of eyes on it, which is the, the it's called the therapist, I think? Something along those lines. Which I just find kind of a funny, funny name. Stop stealing all my money, big guy. An opportunity. Yo, Elias, how's it going? Squandered. Need a therapist? Well, Darkest Dungeons apparently got you covered. At least the modding community does. He's just stealing. He's literally taking like half my relics in this fight alone because I just haven't moved him. Goes good. How are you doing? Well, doing well. So far, this Grand Slam run is going okay. At least, I mean, we're on Act One, so like, how bad could it be, right? Greater threats await those who dare. Man, I could increase his debuff resist even more. He's already got like 105 debuff resist. I don't think we need more. The loathing festers. This guy would be, this guy would make the baby cry. <laughs> be like, dude, you can't do anything to me. You cannot give me hunger. Famous last words. Walls Very true. Desperate. They need oh, your help. okay. God. Like, consider the fact that this is likely to be a uh, freaking, what's it called? fight okay right around the corner man 
Is it a warlord? Let's see. There it is. All right. Ordained warlord with double enemies. Is that demands tribute? Who asked the man's tribute? I've already got the achievement for Crusader killing him, so we don't have to worry about that so much. Um... Is it? Yeah, his intro is so good. Gives me hope that they might go back and revisit, like, Shambler and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Did, did, did you want to see? You don't get that right. Achievement didn't you still get? Uh, I still need the Clash, which is all negative relationships on the mountain. I still need... Um, the one for playing on the anniversary. I still... There's a couple I still need. Excellent crit. Excellent, excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff, my good friend. This road cannot be walked alone. Climb out from his portal. Yeah, that something like that would be so cool. Killing a boss of the boo. Yeah, I don't have that one yet. All right, break is gonna come in huge for this fight. Yay! That's a fun ability. I'm glad that he can do that. That really, I really like that one. You burned your tuna melt. Oh no. It's okay. It's still gonna be good. I really needed that to kill, man. Give me a heal at least. Oh, I need that to miss. Okay. It's getting a little spooky now. We're not low enough for Solemnity though. He's taking big chunks of health here. Yeah, there's that store of a bleed, probably. Inexorable. Oh, please don't kill my Breacher Jester. Please do not kill my Breacher Jester. I would really like it if you don't kill my Breacher Jester. That'd be great. Hey, August, how's it going? Oh, Breacher... You know what I mean. Breacher fucking fuckface. The, the, shut Leper. Ah, yourself. stop critting naturally. It's not allowed. God damn, can you move back, please? Normally you do this at some point. You, like, move yourself back, but you've decided that you don't want to do that right now. It's just... Just constantly guarding this man instead, which is very annoying. Yeah, he's frenzied too, which is like super mega awesome. I just can't fucking get a kill on this guy. Alright. Ritualist! Bro, my friend, buddy, pal, my guy, my dude. Thank Christ. Hey, at least we got that. Sure on him. Okay. All right. What do we get? Greater threats await those who dare. Okay. Round start. Ally behind gets. Uh, this is good. This is good for us. Leper will enjoy this. The loathing 
abates. Newest uh, YouTube video, and I thought, why not just go watch you live? Hell yeah. That's the way to do it. Oh my god, that was a fun fight, huh? We had a good time with that. Right? We had a good time with that? Everybody have a good time? Modded the heart shape padlock to become plus nine, so resolute chance, and I keep passing rain alter, and so we can just resolute, but somehow got, got a meltdown. Uh, maybe it is capped. Might be capped. Might be capped at 95. I know we were talking about this the other day. Um, minus 12 relics for this. Uh, we'll take this. We get, we get the travel and heal then. Okay. A loathing whispers. You will fight so that others may flee. Oh, man, that was fun. We're in pretty good shape, though. We should be able to effectively deal with the padlocks at this rate. Are we doing our master points, actually? Three? Okay, we're good. Might try to avoid fights if I can, which I cannot, but we might as well give everybody vulnerable while we're at it. Zero damage, that's fine. And him being able to hit rank three can really throw you for a loop sometimes. Like, come on, big guy, how you how you hitting that far? He's dead. A That's good. Is a Go ahead and heal our friend here. He's gonna go ahead and solemnity. Get rid of some of the stress. It's causing him some problems. There we go. All right. Imagine Galia on Chaplin. Yeah, it, it goes really hard on on Chaplin. One of the one of the best ways to get her proking stuff. Ow. Okay. That's a lot of burn. Deal here. Oh, oh wow. Stroke. Okay. I take that. Heal that up. advantage all right bd2 hell divers of the long dark hell divers hell divers is amazing i played hell divers for like five hours yesterday it was great i love hell divers <laughs> all 
I've been having so much fun with that game. Because I, I do base. not like PvP games. I'm not I'm just not good at PvP games. But I do enjoy a good PvE and man, I'm having a lot of fun with that game. That's how I feel playing PvP games. Um let's go for the assistance encounter. Though decidedly inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. Getting a lot of is that is that a stagecoach thing that's producing that? What is producing? We're I'm mean, not complaining. We're getting a lot of milk so linen. It's great for us. Honestly, we don't even need that much though, because Leper just kind of ignores his blind very effectively. And do we need scouting? We do not. Bunch of cars extended not following me on Twitch. Yes, exactly. Follow me for your car's sake. Um, a more milk soaked linen. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about it. It's just funny. All right. Uh, let's check where we're going here. This run is going suspiciously well. Why did you say anything? We're about to lose, guys. Um, all right. Well, that's annoying. That's less annoying, though. Double block plus up here. Like that for us. I lied, I lied. This run is fucked. Don't jinx it. Unless you give me, like, the jinx. I'm fine. I'd be fine with that. The jinx on my Breacher Leper? That'd be pretty good, huh? The inevitable disaster hurts more. Absolutely true. You're not wrong. Not wrong at all. Why are you so low on money, British Brat? I don't know. Maybe it's because of the fact that I keep using Reap and not putting my Jester in the right position to actually do anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask the modder, August, because I, I don't know how the game calculates Resolute and all that stuff. Dodge it? Okay, well, look. I mean, you don't have to listen violence. to me, but I would highly recommend it. it judiciously. I promise you have your best interests at heart. Hmm. One damage. Sorry, big guy. What's up, Max? How you doing? Did I ask? I mean, I just you can go to the Darkest Dungeon Discord. They have a whole modding community there. That would probably be where I'd start. A lot of people in there who mess with the game files on a pretty consistent basis. Discord my internet went to shit. Uh, Reddit then? I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, those are the best places to find the community of people who who do this stuff consistently. I'm, I'm definitely not the person to ask because I, I don't mod the game. <laughs> Reddit's a good option. There's a lot of Redditors who mod the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, there's literally whole modding communities on Discord. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, that would be the best place to try and figure it out. Um, all right, do we need anything here? 
Eh, this should be fine. Act. You know, oh no, I was about to say we can use this to get rid of the stealth. That's not what that ability or item does. Whatever, it's fine. It was a mistake. Butt spot on the street. Yeah, Reddit definitely has its its moments. Playing hell divers later. Would you be okay to join the diving? Yeah, anybody's welcome to join. I can put my uh, I'll put my friend code in my Discord if people want to join. All right. Um. Let's see. Back to March here. Um. Blind the big guy. That's not enough damage, Snoop Dogg. Come on. Right. So I have tenacity here. Just this double block is is very nice. Him hot potato. Yeah, it's just a it's just a stupid like. Uh, like mini game or whatever you want to call it. But if you get the potato thrown to you, you can do exclamation potato and then pass the potato and then hopefully not die horribly. Unfortunately, this guy's just going to regen all his health because that's how this works. Oh, good critical disharmony. Very nice. I'm proud of you. I hate you for that, but I'm proud of you. Good miss. Fortunately, unless we do some crazy speed stuff here, it's going to get a worship off and all that damage is just going to go bye bye. But he does get a lot less health because of the the reap. So like reap value for sure. Straightforward and effective. This is where reap can come in pretty clutch. And that's a hell of a lot better than like the 17 heal he can sometimes get on that. Uh, it's just solemnity off that stress. Bone weaving. My bones, they've been weaved. Not the bones, Jimmy. This Ow. Is no time to Did you alter. not? That'd be great. Do you have to sell your fish? How do you redeem the points? Uh, you could just use them to gamble. There's like gamble. You can do uh, exclamation gamble and gamble your points. They literally do nothing. It's just there to be goofy. It's like whose line is it anyway, where the points don't matter. But you can do like ex you can check your points of exclamation points. You can gamble them with exclamation the gamble in the space and amount of points. And you can also play noble. other games. There's like roulette. Not there's uh, diffusing the bomb. There's uh, heists. You can gamble your money on a heist and get people to go on a heist. Um, stuff like that. Nice reference, yeah. I love me. I love me some Who's Line. Who's Line is a is a classic. Lower your guard. Winking feet, very nice. Slow handed is you not good. Feet. The yips is also terrible. Fuck me. Really, like curmudgeon the yips and slow handed, right before the mountain. Like games like nah, no. Your coach is laden. Oh, and I don't like. I won't have any no way to get rid of that, right? Like, I'll have. Nope. I didn't give me a single. I don't got a meditative totem or a skull tea. No way to get rid of it. So I'm just stuck with those with those quirks, right? My relationships are all gonna be really rough. Yeah, it's it's whatever. Okay. No point bitching about it. Uh, I... I saw a pig. Oh, the pig was in the provisioner, right? Uh, we have a lot of trinkets. We want bleed resist on anybody. Like, is that like, yeah, sure. You can take that. Sure. Why not? Doesn't like really help you, but it doesn't hurt you. Sure. To give him heart and heart. 
No dots on our occultist until he dies, but whatever, sure. Have it. Why not? Why not live life dangerously? As long as Breacher Leprous. Well, we need everybody to survive. Listen. Seven mastery Practice. points, so that's pretty good. Alright. So we're at the mountain. As is tradition when we get to the mountain, I'm going to go ahead and open up a game giveaway. So if you'd like the chance to win a random Steam key for Steam, uh, you can go ahead and do so in a second. This is my way of saying thank you to everybody being here. You just have to be following in order to get on in. And it is open. So exclamation enter for a chance to get in. I said, hey, base, welcome to join. You just have to be following. Don't, don't. Look, Rick is just oh, mad that we've got the yips. No, no. Look at him. He's just, look at that. He's mad. He's upset. He's looking at the Crusader like, really, dude? No. Come on. Ah, oh, it's okay, Rick. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, okay. Who just did this? All right, guys, time for a dance party. Go ahead and get your dance emotes in there. A little free, a free mountain celebration. crazy i had so much fun hell yeah that's what it's all about all about having a good time that's all we do here all right let's have some couch rods grab a war horn uh let's grab uh greek fire sure why not all manner of hey, diversion Zeus, and dalliance await months. those who cross the threshold that, with coin friend. in hand thank you so much for the support again we do have the game giveaway going on exclamation enter for a chance to get in and just my my way of saying thank you to everybody for being here and hanging out. Being a part of the stream means a lot to me. Um, let's go ahead and go to the mountain. Let's see if we can get our first uh, public uh, defeat of this boss on the Bastard's Beacon. I have not done this publicly yet. Um, Zeus, how you doing, bud? Good to get you in here. Uh. 
at last the great cigarette the great cigarette so if you guys don't know the master's beacon will give a unique buff to every one of the confession bosses um i have done this personally i have taken the time to go through and beat this boss i've only done the first two bosses on bastard's beacon i've done them both off stream so um yeah it hurts Lurk playing some games of my own? Hell yeah. Enjoy the lurk. Good luck with your games, whatever you're playing. Alright. Let's hope we can get through this fight fairly easily. We've done really well. This team is, has absolutely kicked booty. So, uh, good job. White Sensitive has been a bit of an annoyance for us, but nothing we couldn't handle, right? Malaise, measured and steady. Okay, Alter's dead. No more uh, stealth that we have to worry about. Oh, now that's a crit. The fiend's strength dwindles. Flesh from bone. Or oh, no, wait. Okay, that's fine. A little annoying because our uh, crusader is now kind of out of position, but he'll live. Um, I actually have to be careful here. If I move... Okay. If I try to move forward, I would just shove the leper into rank 3 because they'd move around him. So, let's not do that. Let's say that we didn't. Heal here. Go ahead and tenacity just to get the blocks up. It's almost a play for putting Galia on the Crusader to and putting Leper in rank two just so we can get like um we can get the Crusader getting a lot of strength tokens and stuff, but probably not worth get the leper getting tokens I should say sorry okay man the cultist has been slacking on the heels I gotta go for the kill. If I don't go for the... Oh, shit, right. That's death armor. About to say... And now I can go for a heal. There we go. Generate tokens on beacon. Locks have a um, big buff to, like, damage, health. Like, 100% additional health. Higher stun chance. They have higher move resist, which is weird. Um, I don't know why they added that. I think that I, I don't know what what the thought process was for that, um, but yeah they and then um, I think they have different effects when you kill the locks. They can move. They can't. They can't move. I don't know. But the buff gives them move resist, even though they're immune to move resist. So I don't know, man. I just work here. The Caligunus Cathedral, <laughs> malign temple of the Iron Crown. They do kill the healer last. Yeah. No, I'll kill it first. I can't remember what the, the specific effects are in each of them. You can see here, and, and, yeah, they have enhanced death effects. That's what it's called, yeah. And then they all get plus 100% max health, plus 40% damage, plus 2 speed, plus 20% debuff resist, plus 20% move resist, plus 20% stun resist. So, no, the locks cannot move. They cannot be moved uh, at all. But for some reason, the buff gives them this. I don't know if that's just a coding thing or whatever. I don't know. I'm just working, man. Basically, ordainment. Kinda. Plus 100% damage is... Or health is, is a lot. Like, 110 health on these guys is, uh, is no... Is no joke. Mistimed. Yeah. 
is directed. What do you get the blind from? Is that a torchlight thing? I'm trying to show it then. PD's still OP. Highwayman is is OP has always been OP, but it's still OP, but not as much so. Plague Doctor is the same as always. She she hasn't been changed. And I gotta be really cautious here. This fight is gonna get crazy really fast. Buddy, come on, a two crit? I, you gotta do something more than that. Oh, and he's stunned. All right. Man, I gotta heal, right? I could go for the kill, but I gotta stop them from killing him. Uh, this fight is so fucking wonky right now. Like, I get it. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, the leper's animations are getting a little weird. I don't know why. Oh, no healing. And the low rolls are really, really doing it for us, huh? A righteous action. What did that give everybody? Uh, is it just more damage? Yeah, plus 100% damage, probably. Right, this will also clear the stun, which is useful for us. Uh, but I was like, why can't I heal? Because I, I can't. Oh, bugger off. Yeah, it's his guarding animation. It's just weird. Ow. Measure Ed. out your violence and apply it judiciously. They won't add a repost item. They've been very clear that they, they won't do that. It's not something that's in their list of things they want to do. That would have to be something the modders add in and they'd have to like create a custom animation or something. Yeah, that's probably what it is. When they added Galia and it like added a bunch of like guard that probably shouldn't have been there, right? And he's really, he's really slacking. Good miss though. I I don't think we can do this, if I'm being entirely honest. I think we might be I think we might be out of it here, especially with Fortitude again. They need to make it so they can't do the same one twice in a row. I think I think that just creates a problem. Yeah, I mean it is what it is, but Uh, Reap won't even let me heal, huh? Beacon buff on this boss. Uh, it's just a lot. It's just this. And enhanced death effects. Oh, I can't heal, so better hope that the lock doesn't target him. Of course it does. Through adversity and affliction. The yeah, heart I think I think we're still. Okay. Well, I was about to say I think our goose is cooked. Well, that's half of it. Let's see what happens with um. Oh, okay. Excuse me? Oh, because of the healing block. Oh, that's just unfair. What's up, love? 
I'm no, I'm fine. Thank you. It's still blocked. I. Wait, what? Because it's a stress healing move, too. All right. Gotta remember that. This is no time to Pass healed. I gotta remember that's a thing. Did not. of exculpation need not be a lonely one. Passy would have worked. Okay, we're getting very lucky. We, we weren't locked out of healing. We were just locked out of uh, stress healing. Stop just hitting people straight to death's door. <laughs> I'd really appreciate that. Straightforward and effective. Plus 33% crit. Okay. And the weakness, really. <laughs> Those damage numbers are just insane. We're getting very lucky, but... Yeah, we probably need to kill the healing lock An at this point. Conflict. Did he get defiant? Oh my god, he did. And he got erudite too, which is like kind of crazy for him. Yeah, he got it off the resolute. Empowered. Emboldened. by fear. Yeah, it increased the, the damage for them. God, Defiant absolutely saving my ass there. Locked out of healing, aren't I? What buff does the lock give when it dies? I'm trying to think if it was worth it to save it to this point because I I need healing and it's just always going to take it from me. Yeah, there it goes. He will right. drift among the stars. Ah. <sighs> Well, that's failed attempt number one. We weren't gonna get it on the first try, huh? Steady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. I'm pro I'm thinking I probably should have killed the healing lock earlier. I really needed the heals, man. I This is unfortunate. It gives regen. That's really not that bad though. If we kill it, does it give them regen for the entire fight? 
or just for like the first couple rounds because if we killed it early then the regen would have been non-issue that's three turns of regen yeah i really i should have killed the healing lock earlier especially with reap we could have reaped the locks and then just negated the entire regen i thought i gave like something i don't know i thought i gave something worse than that Yeah, the 10 regen is nothing. Like, especially with uh, with Reap, if we'd constantly been reaping, we would have completely counteracted the heal. Fatigue. Oh well. Yeah, the healing is always there though. It, it heals the other locks on the other fight too. In the regular fight, so I'm really not worried about that. That's it. I would honestly say it's probably best to kill the healing log first with this with this rendition of it, because then that way you get access to your heals for the rest of the fight. You don't get the initial damage at the very beginning. Killing the other locks early gives them plus 50% damage, plus 50 33% crit, and uh, what's the other one? It gives it from the oh, and then yeah, I don't know what this one does. I think I think next time we'll we'll probably end up focusing the healing lock pretty early because you actually don't want the additional damage like for the duration of the fight. It's just made them so much more deadly. I really don't want to lose this this leper though. That's that's my concern at this point. I want to keep him alive. Applying debuffs is hard though. That that is an issue with this. Yeah, the, the plus damage is brutal. Crusader's just like, I'm good, man. <laughs> this is chilling. We've got a Defiant Breacher Leper now, which is like actually a Defiant Erudite Breacher Leper, which is kind of like insanely cracked. Good crit. Good, we needed that blind to stick. Yeah, right now, Leper can't die uh, outside of a dot, which he won't be getting from this. This is only one enemy. There we go. All right. Well, now we know, right? I think this team still has the, the opportunity. It sucks we lost our Bloodthirsty Occultist, right? A locked-in Bloodthirsty Occultist. I think that I think that was our biggest thing that we lost out. But I think it, next the time I do this fight, I would try to focus um, the health one early because the regen, while it's annoying, um, I feel like the regen becomes more of an issue late if you kill it like towards the end. Obviously, killing it last would mean it's not that big a deal. But then you you spend the last like two locks basically 50% of the time locked out of healing after you've been taking the most amount of damage. Um, no, it was Snoop Dogg, not Bate. If I named it Bate, it might have lived. Um, so I think... Uh, can you move the locks? No, you can't. I don't know why they gave it... I, like I said, I think it's a coding thing. Um, they gave it a move resist, deep, like debuff resist for move... Or a move resist buff. Yeah, But it, it can't be moved at all. Regen can be out damaged, especially with... Um, with a crusader if we can give him something like that increases his ability like if he gets the peculiar pods or something which obviously we won't be able to go to sluice but you could definitely outpace that um i think overall we definitely have a good a good chance of killing those lungs with this particular team we'll have to see we might have to swap in i would say plague doctor is probably a good swap in for this um i think our heals were fairly inconsistent that was another issue um, so we swapped in Plague Doctor, but I think otherwise we got to keep our Leper, which is huge. Um, Breacher Leper is is massive. Um, yeah, it's basically the Ordainment effects, right? Just just amped up a little bit. It's it's all of the Ordainment effects that, that can possibly get, except he gets all of them. Hellion instead of Leper, because I've got a Breacher Defiant Erudite Leper. He's just he's just insane. He's just way too good not to take. Um, can't. 
be moved now, but I guess that makes sense. They couldn't be moved before. They can't be moved in the regular fight either. In the regular version of the fight, not this this fight. Um, Because the leper is the protagonist, yeah. Defiant Breacher, Leper Gaming. All right, uh, we do have a game giveaway going on, so if you'd like a chance to get on in, now's your last chance to do so. Instead of the Crusader, would have been good. Yeah, I think I think Plague Doctor will probably be the play, de and depending on what we roll on uh, when we get to the, the crossroads. Um, but I think overall, that was a really good start to this. We'll definitely try to figure it out. I think overall, we didn't really struggle with uh, with anything. We clear we got the Warlord clear pretty easily. Uh, yeah, with Vanquisher, Crusader, Defiant, Breacher, Leper. Like, I think we're, we're now feeling pretty damn good. Um, we're setting ourselves up for success, so that's good. Um, yeah, overall pretty good. I'm ha I'm happy with that. I'm not mad with the way that ended. I mean, it sucks, but like, you know, we'll we'll get it next time, right? So that's not a problem. All right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this game giveaway going. Uh, <laughs> exit. Wait, no, enter. Uh, got quite a few people in here. Get to the last one. Alright, let's go ahead and close it. And we're going to pick a winner. And the winner's Cactus. GG, Cactus. I'll shoot you a DM, bud, or if you want to shoot me a DM, uh, I will, uh, I'll get this game to you. Cactus Coleslaw, GG's. Rigged, rigged. Alright, GG, Cactus. Alright, let's go find somebody to rate. Um, I would stream a little bit longer, but we've I've got guests over, so I gotta go entertain and be social, or whatever. Um, all right, let's see who's streaming. It's probably gonna end up being praises, huh? Yeah, it's gonna end up being praises. The only other person who speaks English who's also playing the game. This game does well in a lot of foreign. Foreign, I can't I can't mute him. I oh, okay. All right, cool. All right, let's go rate praises. If you don't know who praises is, he's a good friend of the channel. And another uh, really good... Uh, he's already done a Bastard Speaking um, run. Uh, Grand Slam. So he's... Oh, that's not right. There we go. Alright. There's the raid message. If you'd like to use that, uh, feel free to do so. Um, did he finish it? Yes, he did. Yeah, he's already he's already finished it. Because he's cracked at this game. Alright, have a good one, everybody. I appreciate you all being here. I will see you all on Tuesday when I stream next. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And uh, yeah, have a good one, everybody. Bye.